Look, up in the sky. Hey there, Super Kids, and welcome to Super Kids, your number one source for youth fitness and wellness. My name is TJ, and I'm your own personal trainer, and it's right here where we work out together in our own living rooms. Now, boys and girls, for our wonderful and very unique yoga video series, we have a wonderful, fantastic yoga guru named Jessica Schott, who will be instructing us in these videos. Now, get ready, boys and girls, because in this particular yoga video, we will be needing the following items. Your bare footsies. Uh, wait, what are you doing? Oh. Oh no. Uh, one exercise mat. Yeah. And your water bottle. Make sure there's water in that water bottle. Hey there, super kids. In this yoga session, we are going to work on inversions, which is going upside down. Because everybody knows that going upside down is fun. Handstands, fun. Headstands, fun. Forearm balances, fun, fun, fun. But it's very important that you learn the correct way to do these inversions. Not only so you're safe, safety is very important, but so you're continuing to build strength and improve your overall fitness and mental awareness. So we want to really learn how to do inversions, how to learn how to go upside down in a fun, strong, safe, and correct way, okay? So first one we're going to work on is handstand. Now before we do that, I just want you to come down into downward facing dog. So, hands on the mat, feet walk back, arms rotate around your ears, heels descend towards the floor. Now just get this little stretch in the backs of the legs, drop the head. Now you can see here that I'm close to the wall because we are going to work on all these inversions with the help of the wall. So you're not just going to be come down onto your knees. You're not just going to be in the middle of the room doing it. You're going to be at the wall. So the wall is there to balance. This is the way we can learn how to do it correctly. Okay? So we're going to take your hands to the mat. And you see I have a little distance between me and the wall here. Now we're going to take a downward dog. That's a short downward dog, which means your feet are walked in more than they normally are. And we're going to start, we're going to work on kicking up with either leg. So you're going to lift your left leg up and you're going to lift high onto the ball of your right foot. Your hands should be shoulder distance apart. You look forward at your hand. Put a bend in that right knee and you're going to kick up to the wall. Now kick up and put your feet against the wall and lift, lift, lift out of your hands and shoulders. Keep looking forward. You see I'm letting my heels be at the wall. I'm not worrying about balancing in the middle of the room. Lifting up, lifting up. So I have lots of space by my neck and ears and I'm not doing a banana like this. I'm lifting tall out of my shoulders. I'm pulling my abdominals, abdominals in and then left leg goes down slowly all the way down and then come down onto your knees and rest. Good, so now we're gonna try to kick up with the other leg. So you see that we wanna try to be straight up and down and not in a big back bend. You want to really rotate those arms around your ears and have lots of space, okay? So second side, hands on the mat nice and wide, take that short downward dog position. So this time we're going to lift the right leg up, lift high onto the ball of your left foot, lean forward so your shoulders over your wrist and you're looking forward at your hands, past your fingertips. Bend your left leg and kick up. Even if it takes you a couple tries to kick up, that is okay. You just do the best you can. My heels are on the wall. I'm squeezing my inner thighs together, looking forward. Don't let your back bend. Straight up and down. If you want to try to balance a little bit, it's okay, but keep yourself at the wall safely. And then slowly take your right leg down, nice and slow, and come down and jump onto your knees sit on your heels. That was great. Excellent job. So just to release all that, I want you to take a downward dog, just a regular downward dog, and you can shake the neck out side to side and let the head go. So you can feel handstands actually give you a lot of energy. They get the blood flowing and your body really strong. They give you tons of energy. It's a great way if you're feeling tired or lazy 
to wake yourself up a little bit is to just go to the wall and do a handstand. It's a great way to get things going in the morning, in the middle of the day, or in the afternoon when you feel that kind of tired after school, but you have a lot of work to do and stuff to do and you want to exercise and work out, handstand is a great way to start. Okay, now we're going to work on headstand. Very important that you do this safely because we want to protect the neck. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clasp my hands together like this and put the outside of my hands on the mat. My elbows are going to be as wide as my shoulders, but not wide out to the side like this. They're on a diagonal. Now, the back of my head is going to be in my hands, and the top of my head, the crown, so we call the crown, that's what's going to be touching the floor. But what you're going to find is it's all about the upper body. Your head will barely be touching the floor. So your hands are clasped together. Your elbows are not too wide out here. The back of your head pushes into your hand, and the middle top of your head is just lightly touching the floor, lightly. And then you're going to tuck your toes, lift your hips, and walk your feet in. Now we're just going to start with this preparation here, okay? So all I want you to do is lift your right leg up, and that's it. Just lift it up. And then put it down, and lift your left leg up. And put it down, and then you can decide which leg you want to kick up with. So either leg. So you lift the leg up, you bend the opposite knee, and you just lightly kick up. And you go to the wall. Now, here at the wall, I want you to lift up so the top of your head is barely touching the floor. Your arms and shoulders are doing so much work. And again, you're not in a banana position. And you can try to balance by squeezing your inner thighs together and really working the abdominals. Lift, 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 lift. Lift, and nice and slow. So I want you to slowly, slowly, slowly come down either one leg at a time or both legs together. Either way, one leg at a time or both legs together. And then right away after a headstand, you take a child's pose. So let the head be on the floor, arms come back behind you. You always want to take a child's pose after headstand to release the neck. Very important. You can stay up and headstand longer than that, or you can stay shorter than that. Whatever works for you, just do your best. Just give it a try. And then the last inversion we're going to work on is forearm balancing. So lots of strength for forearm balancing. So you want to put your hands straight from your elbows, like railroad tracks, OK? So my elbows are shoulder distance, not out to the side and the diagonal shoulder distance. So just like down dog, we're going to lift the hips up and stand on the feet. So this is called dolphin pose. Dolphin pose. And you're lifting the hips up and then you're going to look forward and pick a leg to kick up with. I want you to keep lifting out of the shoulders, lift the leg and then kick up to the wall. Go ahead and kick up and lift. So try not to let yourself sink into a back bend. The idea is to lift your legs up out of your shoulders and hips and look forward. Look forward to balance. Stay as long as you can. Use the wall. And then slowly, 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 one leg or both legs, come down. And once again, take a child's pose. Let your head go. Let your arms come back. And then slowly, go ahead and press yourself up. You can work on all of those inversions. It's really fun to work on handstands, headstands, and forearm balances. And you can feel how much work it takes. It's a lot of upper body strength. It's endurance. It's stamina. It's focus and balance. So keep playing with that. Just make sure you do it the correct way, safely. It's the most effective, and it will take care of your body and make you stronger and feel better. So let's just take a quick little down dog just to release the head and neck. Let your head go side to side. And then walk your hands and feet together and stand in a forward bend and grab your opposite elbows and hang. Just breathe, let your head go, let your breath slow down. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Release 
the arms. Now bend the knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, one vertebrae at a time, and stand nice and tall and strong. Standing tall in Tadasana, which was mountain pose. So standing strong like a mountain, then inhale, lift the arms up, take a big stretch up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Now clasp your hands together, turn your palms inside out, and lengthen the sides of your body. Reach, 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 reach. And release the arms. Excellent work on your inversion practice today, super kids. Going upside down is fun. You are all done. I Great job. Boys and girls, if you got through this yoga session successfully, give yourselves a nice round of applause. Very, very well done. That was not easy. Now remember to drink plenty of water before, during, and especially after exercise. You want to make sure that you're having little sippies of water, not big, big gulps, but little sippies. Now, for those of you out there that were not able to complete everything in this particular yoga session, that is okay. Here at Super Kids, all that we really care about is that you just give it your best with every single video that we offer. Now with that said, boys and girls, we've got lots more videos headed your way, so make sure you're checking those out because each and every video is very different from the next. Okay, boys and girls, I have a question. What do you call a cow with a twitch? Beef jerky. <laughs> Until next time, goodbye.